Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy and development in Nigeria and around the world. There is uh, an interesting story coming from the angle of the former speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dugara, which seems to confirm the worst fears of Nigerians that indeed the executive led by President Bola Metinubu is not only controlling that executive branch of government, but it's also controlling the judiciary. That is based on the allegation that was made by Yakubu Dugara in his uh, uh, tirade against the governor of Bauchi State, the governor of his home state. Now, this story caught my attention because of things that Dugara said there, which appears to impinge on the integrity of the judiciary of Nigeria. Of course, you and I know that since after the 2023 election, Nigerians have lost faith in the judiciary because of the kind of judgments that emanated from that arm of government. Indeed, a recent uh, get-together organized by the Inter-Party Adversary Council, IPAC, on reforming the judiciary, this issue was highlighted by several speakers, including notable lawyers, about the state of our judiciary and how their integrity had been called into question. Now, what brought up this issue was, again, to the uh, front burner, was uh, Yakubu Dogara. Now, according to reports, uh, former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, has berated Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State for making a sudden U-turn on President Bola Metinubu for making sudden U-turn on President Bola Metinubu after allegedly rigging his way into office. Mohammed sought Tinubu's help to avoid legal trouble while singing the praise of the president at the time. Dugara, however, said just months later, the governor has now labeled Tinubu as inept, incompetent, and incapable of running Nigeria. You recall that uh, Governor Bala Mohammed had criticized the president and his policies in the wake of the hashtag inbound governance protest. Mohammed had uh, berated the Tinubu led administration, saying its saying its policies were inflicting hardship on the people. Now Mohammed who doubles as the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum, the main opposition party in the country, also urged President Tinubu to change his policies, adding that he could jeopardize his re-election come 2027. Uh, but reacting to the governor's outburst in a press statement titled on Governor Bala Mohammed's latest tirade and truculent buffoonery, the former speaker stated that the governor's recent utterances were uncalled for and unnecessary. His words to buttress the point being made when Governor Bala Mohammed was in court after rigging himself into office and desperately needed President Bola Metinubu to save him, he was busy singing his praises to the highest heavens and telling the world how amazing President Bola Metinubu was 
not even minding the fact that he is the chairman of the PDP's governor's forum. Yakubu continues. He said, just months after President Bola Metinubu saved him, note, note that word, saved him, he has turned around to describe the president as now inept, incompetent, and incapable of running Nigeria. And also saying, I will even invite him to chair our 2027 presidential campaigns if he continues this way. Now, the biggest takeaway from what Dugara said here, not minding every other thing he said, was that, that the governor rigged his election and that having rigged the election, he know he cannot survive the judicial problem that faced him. Then he became a press singer of Bola Metinubu so that Bola Metinubu will help him with the judiciary. And Tugara is alleging that Bola Metinubu actually did help him to get out of his legal lockdown as a result of his alleged rigged election. This is really interesting. You know what this is interesting? This is Dugara, who I believe is a lawyer and a former speaker, invariably telling Nigerians that the judiciary of Nigeria lacks integrity, that what you get in the court, especially as it pertains to the outcome of the election petition, was dependent on your relationship and how President Bola Metinbu thinks about you. If you are regarded as good enough or loyal enough, President Bola Metinbu, he is a legend, will help you to clear the legal hurdles. Which now brought to the question, can our democracy survive with this kind of judiciary? Can Nigeria's democracy continue to survive with this kind of judiciary? As I said earlier in the intro, recently the Inter-Party Adversary Council held a, held a kind of workshop where this issue of the judicial independence was at the front burner. And a lot of eminent people spoke and all point to one direction, that the Judiciary and Independent National Electoral Commission failed Nigerians in the last election, that they were, they compromised their integrity, allegedly, to give us what we have today as the outcome of that election. It is really troubling because what Zugara said in that his statement, he was so categorical. He wasn't making it as an allegation. He was saying it the way he apparently saw it, that Bala Muhammad had issues about his re-election. And that issue has to do with his alleged rigging of his election. And you know, when you rig an election, you need to also have to get judiciary to help you get over it. Now, Dogara is telling us that Bala Muhammad rigged the election. And when the matter was taken to the judiciary, that's supposed to give an unbiased jurisdiction over the matter that the judiciary apparently compromised because this man is uh Dugara is claiming that Bala Mohammed rigged the election so he was categorical that he rigged the election 
That is by his own words. But he was able to tell us who helped him get away from the legal hurdles that he faced in that his re-election. That it was Bola Ametinubo that did it. I will expect, we should expect the presidency to, to send out a disclaimer on that. And uh, Dugara himself, who was saying it, is saying it now because also it's also suit him to say it. Why didn't he say it before? But perhaps he want to get himself back into the warm embrace of the APC. We know that Dugara himself uh, uh, left, abandoned Tinubu because of his Muslim Muslim ticket and threw his weight behind Atiku Abakar, the presidential candidate of the PDP in the 2023 presidential election. But that is by the way. I only brought that up to show the hypocrisy of some of our leaders. Because when he sued Dugara, he also condemned Tinubu. Now perhaps he suits him to warm himself back to the Tinubu's camp. He is now telling us what was done behind the scene to save the career or the political career of Bala Muhammad. But the biggest takeaway is that Dugara, perhaps from his privileged information, has confirmed what Nigerians have been expressing fear about, that the judiciary in Nigeria has allegedly been compromised by the executive arm of government. And that what you get depends on your relationship with those in power, which is not supposed to be so. So what has happened, what Dugara has done in his effort to demarket Bala Muhammad is to call our judiciary their integrity bring them up from further public scrutiny because obviously from what Dugara said much of the verdict that came out from the judiciary during in respect of the 2023 election depends on relationships with the president if that is the case how then do you expect peter obi of the Labour Party to get justice? How do you expect Elijah Tukwa Bakar of the People's Democratic Party to get justice from the courts that are supposed to grant them justice? It's a stark reminder of how dire the situation is in respect to the sustainability of our democracy. It's a sad story about the state of our democracy right now under the administration of the All Progressive Congress. That there is thin line between the ruling government and the judiciary. And somebody who has been a chieftain of that party and who was a former speaker of the House of Representatives, has once again brought this matter to the fore, indicating that there is no difference between President Bola Metinubo and Nigeria's judiciary. That is not a good commentary for Nigeria's democracy. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Please subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.